We've been talking about the phase one trade deal. I mean, how has that impacted Malaysia, given that Malaysia benefited from the disruption in the supply chain, especially for electronics? Thank you, Haslinda and Bloomberg. And uh, Selamat Pagi from Malaysia, uh, from uh, Zurich, uh, Davos, and um, great um, being given this opportunity to talk to you on this. The phase one of the agreement that they've just signed, um, obviously there'll be some impact, but we are confident to say that the Chinese and the Americans will continue having their trade deals with Malaysia and, and continue um, uh, having good relationship with our country. But tariffs remain. Yes. Tariffs remain on China till at least November. I Correct. mean, how will that filter through? How much benefit can there be from this phase one deal? I'm not going to say on the Chinese or American side, but from our side, the ASEAN side, I think we'll continue having the um, uh, continuous relationship uh, with China as well as America. And we, we are glad that America and China have at least tried to take some global responsibility over the challenges that the whole world had faced because of their tariff uh, you know, uh, disagreements. And this phase one, um, we hope that they will find some solution on overcoming all those uh, challenges, more so the tariff that is still implemented till November this year. How soon will the benefits filter through? When you take a look at global PMIs, we're seeing encouraging yeah. signs. What's your take on that? Well, um, continuously we see encouraging PMIs uh, result all over the world, Malaysia as well, and we hope that it'll continue more so. We are all integrated through the global value chain. And China being a huge market for Malaysia as well as America, uh, I think that we hope uh, some positiveness will continue throughout this year. Uh, China has committed to buy more soybeans from yeah, the U.S. Will that mean China will buy less palm oil from Malaysia? I don't think so. Why not? Well, China and, uh, China and Malaysia have had a long relationship. In fact, uh, the challenges that they faced recently uh, with America, uh, Malaysia has always offered help in many ways, diplomatically and also economically with China. And China, likewise, have helped us uh, to make huge orders of palm oil, more so when we were challenged by other nations where there was a boycott over our palm oil, and the Chinese have continued to be a good friend. Uh, speaking of spats, uh, Malaysia currently having some kind of disagreement with India, India taking issue with uh, the stand of Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamed okay. uh, on some of its policies and has put limits on its imports from Malaysia. How is it impacting the country and is that being resolved? Um, these issues uh, that our Prime Minister raised are matters close to his heart and I think he's, he should be given the opportunity to be heard as well, at least from his views. And likewise, we do listen to India as well on their views. But when it comes to the trade bit on the palm oil, I don't think Malaysia was singled out. Um, some people may want to single out Malaysia, but the government of India has been very But open India has put a lid on its yes, imports yes, of palm oil from Malaysia. They did, but they, it, it is not Malaysia alone. Uh, our relationship with them continues because the government of India uh, has not um, banned the importation of palm oil and continues to have more orders from Malaysia. Yes, we do face some challenges, but between government to government, we will resolve them. But India has come out to say as well that it may impose limits on other imports. Very quickly, in mm. 20 seconds, Minister. <laughs> okay, um, they may, they may, but we'll continue to talk to them. They are an important partner of ours in trade, and we being ASEAN members, uh, Malaysia, India being part of ASEAN, uh, will continuously talk to each other over this. And the biggest risk for the Malaysian economy right now? The biggest risk for Malaysian economies is um, a lot of fake news about things 